Does drinking water actually help acne? I am so glad you asked my friends and the reason why is because today we're going to talk about the science of it. I personally have noticed that when my body is hydrated, it functions better. Many other people have as well. But if you read natural blogs online or if you watch YouTube videos, 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 there are a lot of people saying that drinking enough water cleared their acne. In today's video, Let's break this down scientifically and explain how water can help the body, but also what lack of research there is to prove that. So first we have to discuss what the skin is and how acne is formed. Our skin is an organ. Our body has many different organs and our skin is the largest because it can protect our entire body from pathogens, bacteria, viruses, and fungus. And all of the organs in our body, including our skin, are made up of cells. Now, cells are made up of many different combinations of molecules, um, but it's very important that cells have water and hydration, specifically in the intercellular matrices, um, so that they can function properly. So naturally, if we are hydrated, our body is going to function well. If you don't stay hydrated, you die. Literally. <laughs> and when it comes to our skin, people who do stay hydrated tend to have more glowing skin. Uh, wrinkles seem to be plumped up a little bit more so that people who are hydrated look younger. And on top of that, people generally have a little bit more firmness and freshness to the skin. Now, of course, this is dependent on many other factors such as sun exposure, whether or not someone's wearing makeup, you know, and even something like genetics. But in general, staying hydrated does have benefits for your skin as well as the rest of your body. But I also want you to remember that if you're clinically dehydrated, drinking one glass of water is not gonna help. Your body has like a prioritization system. What's more important, making your skin look good or making sure that your heart is beating? It's a lot more important to have a functioning heart and kidneys and liver than it is to make your skin look good. So the, bio the body prioritizes these things, which is great for our health and wellness, but it also means that doing something really quick or drinking a dermaceutical isn't going to fix your problems overnight. Now, if you do come from a place where you're clinically dehydrated and you start to incorporate more water, your skin is probably going to look better. But the question is, is it actually going to impact acne? I did some research and I asked a few dermatologists that I know. And to my understanding, there is no research that proves that drinking enough water can cure acne or drinking enough water can substantially help acne. Now, just because there's not research doesn't mean there's not antidotal evidence, meaning I did something and it worked for me, or Sarah did something that worked for her, or Jenny did something and it worked for her, or Sujatha did something that ended up being positive. So why are there no studies looking at the consumption of water and how it impacts our skin? But there are studies on dermaceuticals or derma drinkables, sorry, derma drinkables that show some sort of response. Follow the money. If someone found that water helped with acne, can they really make money off of that? Not really. So who's gonna fund the research? Who's gonna pay the scientists? Who's gonna conduct these tests and pay the test subjects? The water industry? I don't think so. But Derma Drinkables, they're a brand, they've got money. They have a financial incentive to pay people to try these things and to pay doctors to research them. And if the research is good, they might publish it. So that being said, just because no one's done a study on water and acne doesn't mean it doesn't help. But I want to make it clear that water does not cure acne. And the reason why is because there are four main building blocks of acne. We've spoken a lot about it on this channel and we actually have a skin science video that digs into it. But acne is caused by bacteria, it's caused by oil, it's caused by a plug and by inflammation. Those are the four pillars and any acne product that's effective on the market is treating one or more of those. And anything that helps with acne is going to help one or more. Anyone who has acne is dealing with these things, maybe different combinations of these things, but that's the pathogenesis of acne. So then, does acne help? Because a lot of people say that it does. The truth is, even though acne is not cured by water, some people have found that drinking it makes them look and feel better. I myself find that when I am dehydrated, my body does not function well. My skin feels a little bit more grimy. I personally believe, from my own experience, that my skin does not exfoliate as well when I'm not drinking enough water. It's just not as hydrated, the skin cells don't turn over. And having a slow skin turnover could cause plugs. 
And a plug is part of one of the four steps of having acne or the four building blocks of acne. So although that might be correlated, it's not causational. And when it comes to water, what should you do? Don't go drinking five gallons of water because you could die, literally. If you dilute your electrolytes, which are very important for your cells to function and for your heart to beat, you could die. So don't over drink water. There is such a thing as too much of a good thing. But if you can add a couple more glasses of water a day, why is that a bad thing? I think you should go for it. Keep in mind that a lot of people say that water detoxes them or do a lemon detox or do a water detox. Let me tell you some truth. If you've got a liver, your body's already doing a detox, okay? If you've got a kidney, your body's already doing a detox. Those are organs that do these things for you. You don't need to detox your body. In the past, before I started studying, before I started getting curious about biology and chemistry and skincare, I've used the word detox. I'm probably going to use that word in the future. But I don't think that that word is okay to be thrown around by an industry to be monetized and to be like to make money off of. Because the truth is that our body is really good at detoxing its own self. There can be issues such as heavy metal poisoning, uh, toxicities that you have, or even alcohol poisoning. And in that sense, obviously, if you have alcohol poisoning, if you drink too much, you need to go to the hospital and get your stomach pumped. And I guess you could call that a detox when they shove charcoal down your body and like induce vomiting, I don't know. Or induce a coma, depending on how bad it is. <laughs> but I don't think we need to be worried about detoxing. And I wanna make it clear that although water can help our bodies function normally and can help our kidneys and our livers function better, it does not necessarily detox for us. Our body does the work. Our body just needs the good stuff to go ahead and go ahead and do it, you know, because our body prioritizes living, <laughs> which I'm really personally happy about. So should you be drinking water? Give it a try. If it works for you, that's great. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. For me, I have found that incorporating enough water into my diet is essential for me. Part of my acne diet, what has worked for me, includes drinking enough water. But is this the single factor? No. And should you start chugging bottles of water? And should you start buying Derma drinkables because that's what has published studies behind it? No. You should be conscious consumers and treat your bodies well. Because we live in these 24 seven, you deserve to take care of them because they are the ones taking care of you. There's another video on three foods that have been medically proven to cause acne and the science behind them here. And there's another video on diet and acne here that you might enjoy. Always remember to be beautiful, stay hydrated, and I cannot wait to see you beautiful butterflies in the next video. <sniffs> Love you guys. Bye.